Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to talk a little bit about something that looks like an LED, but is not an LED. It's a photodiode. Now, a month or so ago, I did a video where I showed you how you can take a regular LED, which is what we've got here, and if you put a light into it, it will output a voltage. Pretty simple. Now, if we take this photo LED here, oh, my light went out, hold on. There we go. We take the photo LED and we hook it up and we put the light through it. Well, we really don't get anything. It does not output a voltage. What it outputs is a current. So this is pretty neat. And I'm going to show you a simple little circuit where you can use it. But first, I figured let's take a look at the construction of the standard LED, which is the short one here, and the photodiode. So I've got my microscope hooked up here. Let's power it up. See if we can get a, a decent picture here. Oh, sorry about those moray patterns. Okay, let's bring in the uh, standard LED first. If I can find it in the picture there. Is that it? Pardon me while I try and get this sorted out. Okay. Here is our standard LED. And it's laying on its side. And you're looking at it through the uh, microscope. So this is the anode there. And over here is the cathode. So you can see the what they call the anvil and the cup. Now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to slide this one out of the way and slide in the photodiode. Pardon me while I try and get it in place. It's backwards. You flip it over. <laughs> this is hard to do on camera. I apologize. But there you go. You can see same thing the anode and the cathode. So they're built primarily in the same way, but they just function incredibly differently. So now let's take a look at that circuit I was telling you about. Okay, so here's the circuit. We have a VCC coming in, going through the photodiode, and it's actually going through the cathode. You're gonna hook this up like you would a Zener diode. And then it's going through a 10K resistor to ground. Then in parallel, we're coming over here to this uh, 2N2222 NPN BJT transistor, and that's going into the base. The emitter is going to ground. And then we have a little three millimeter LED, with the current limiting resistor going into the collector. So I'm going to power up my power supply here. And I'm just putting 5 volts into it. And if I cover that up, see how it gets dimmer and brighter. So it works not entirely unlike an LDR. Now if we take the oscilloscope and... I have a probe sitting around here somewhere. Here it is. So I'm going to take the oscilloscope. We'll hook it up here. Always connecting your grounds first. And what we're going to do first is we're going to probe the output 
or the anode in this case, of our photodiode. And now you can see we are at one volt per division. So that's looking about 0.9 volts. See if I remove it down to zero, 0.9 volts. And I'm just moving my hand now to cover it up. Let me turn off some of these lights here on the desk. There you can get an idea as I move my hand over it, how it goes up and down. Pretty simple. Now, if we move over here to say the uh, collector of the transistor and the LED is on, again, here you're looking, and we cover that up, look at that. Now we're at what, one, two, three, about three and a quarter volts. And if I bring in the bright light, it just jumps clean off the screen. So let's uh, adjust our oscilloscope down. Now we're at five volts per division. And we hit that thing, look at that. Let's go up to a uh, two volts per division. See, we're getting an entire, an entire volt swing off of that. So what is a photodiode acting as? Well, it's kind of acting as an amplifier. And when you pair it up, oops, I fell out of the hole. I hate it when that happens. There we go. So when, when you pair that up with the transistor, you've just got yourself a nice little useful, super simple amplifier circuit. See how nice that works? So that's the photodiode for you. Looks like a regular diode, doesn't behave like one. And when you reverse it, remember the regular LED outputs a voltage, the photodiode outputs a current. Hope that showed you a little something about photodiodes today. And if you enjoyed it, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. And don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. And a big thanks to you for watching. That's it. I'm out. You can tell that because I'm shutting stuff off. Peace.